Hello and welcome back to Evil Land. Let's see, here we have this one guy. You there, it's your lucky day. You just won this dream of a house. Claiming it, it's so simple, a child could do it. A child with 10,000 G, that is, my mother's purchase fee. So, what do you say? No. Listen, I like the cut of your jeep, so I'm gonna go out of my way to offer you this price. 5,000 G is my, is my final offer. So, what do you say? No. You drive a hard bargain. Okay, 500 G in cash upfront. No. If you're broke, we should have said so sooner. I'm very busy, you know? So, from this guy, we can buy. A oh, actually, I have enough. Okay. Thank you, thank you. I'm most delighted to get rid of. <coughs> I mean to sell you this charming abode. Enter your new home. Keto House. Oh, I hope there would be a chest in here. That reminds me, we should still play Fable one more time. And also, I see. So, Sophie? Do you remember Sophie? No. She would have created us to flatten the whole, whole part of the continent, but that's also where we get smart from. As they say, all is well that ends well, right? <laughs> well, um, except for all the victims of the great disaster, of course. But then, apparently they didn't suffer at all. Boom! Gone in one instant. I mean, I don't know much about it, eh? I wasn't born yet. She is from ba Bioshock, in it. And I have no idea what her name is. And um, apparently, remember those girls here? Let's double check everything first. Mimi, did you get the key? Yep, Psycho, I got it. Brilliant. How about you, Ribbon? Do you have the map? Yeah, boss. I've got the map. Awesome! I hear you pretty clear. Operation No Toys But Plenty of Books has begun! Saku, I think we should come up with a better name for Operation. I think so too. How about we call it Operation Super Mimi? Oh no! Mimi, it's not just your operation, it's all of ours. And so, might I should suggest Operation Saku and her friends? No way! Why should it only be your name in our operation? Uh, maybe because it was my idea in the first place? Well, I'm the one who stole that my dad's key! If I get caught, I won't uh, get dessert for at least three days! Which means I'm the one taking the biggest risk here! Stop arguing, you two! I just wanna read the books that are hidden in the library! It's so boring without any toys, so... So why not call our operation Operation Books for Ribbon? No! Mm. You guys are not so mean to me. I'm gonna cry. Ribbon... Come on now, don't throw a fit. Hey, how about we go back to our HQ to choose the name? Good idea, Mimi. Alright, everyone, return to HQ. Hey, wait for me, you guys! Okay, so the key is in the inn. Oh, they are there. That? No, it's nothing. It's empty. HQ. Um, I want to help you. Oh, really? Hear that, Mimi? He wants to help us. But help us with what exactly? Good point. Help us with what? I was just about to ask that. So, you want to help us do what exactly? Uh, steal books. Steal books? Seriously, are you nuts? You working for the proper secret service or something? You really think we'll admit to something like that? Forget about it, you're totally green to try and nab us. Um, okay, I want to help.
help you. God damn it. Uh, help you. Okay, toys. Dollies, what for? We don't need no stinking dollies. We're not little girls who play with the dollies. We do much more interesting stuff than that, right, girls? Yeah, psycho. For sure. So, you see, keep your toys. Besides, they're illegal here. Wait, toys are illegal? I just need the key. Say, you know what? I like people who are direct, who know what they want. So say you find this key of yours, like maybe in a safe or chest or something, and maybe you use it to get into the library. And in the library, you'd say you find, um, I don't know, a book? In this purely hypothetical scenario, would you bring it to us? Yes. You promise? Yes. Cross your heart and hope to die? Yes. Like. Do you promise on your life? Yes. Oh, I think we'll get along just fine. Keep your promise and you'll have nothing to worry about. Key to the library. Wait, do I have the... Yeah, and I have... Mm, I'm fairly sure I did not have that 500 gold to spare. Eh, well, I'm not asking. Welcome to the Genova Library. I suppose you're the new students. Yes. I am the Dean of the Genova Library. We researchers devote our lives to extremely important matters. For example, finding out why it itches when one is bitten by a mosquito. Oh, we're not concerned with finding a cure or some such nonsense. Knowing why it itches is clearly more interesting. By the by, I will discuss my own research when time permits. I am an expert in the study of the ancient magic civilization, specifically the legends surrounding their use of strange powers in late antiquity. But before I can tell you all about that, you will need to complete your studies. It's just that, look, professor, we are in quite a hurry and... QUIET! You are students, and in the library you must submit to your professor's authority. Unless you do not wish to learn anything. In which case, get out! Please forgive student manners, Dr. D. Mr. Dean, sir. We would be delighted to follow your lessons. In particular, the ones about the Magaliths. Magaliths. Right, Manners? Yes. Well, then, if you're determined, let us begin. You must receive credit for six core disciplines, courses in various fields. To do so, you need only speak to my researcher colleagues in the library. Each of them will submit a problem allowing you to get credit for a particular subject. You can choose your own curriculum. You're under no obligation to do all of them, but I may have a little reward if you complete all eight. Did you get all that? Yes. Splendid. Have fun studying them. Come back when you are all done. But no sooner than that. I simply hate being disturbed. <laughs> he reminds me of my old professor. I've always loved studying. It's fun. He seems to know much about the Magi. He will certainly have much to us about the Magaliths. Are you the new pupil? I've dug up a strange relic with a mechanism I can get a handle on. Do you have a few minutes to spare? Yes. You're the kind. Here, this strange item was found in some ancient Hyrulean ruins. There is no lock on it, save for this bizarre keyboard set with symbols. You would do me a great service by opening it. Number 3. Mysterious Relic This chest will open after the 16 buttons are pressed in the right order. The gold button must be triggered last. Which button must be pressed first to unlock the mechanism? Uh, nope. 
Oh. Okay, give me. <laughs> if I press this one, it will go like one, two, one, two, three. One, one, two, one, two, one, one, two, three. One, one, two, one, two, one, one, two, three. One, two, one, one. I think it will be this one. Well then, no doubt the contents will further elude me. Wait, we can try again? Yes. Okay, uh, give me a moment. If we trigger this one, then this will be triggered right away. We trigger this one and it's two, one, three, one, one, two, three. No. We do this one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, one, two. Was this one? I will force it if I have to. Okay, just I'll be right back. I'll write this all down. Okay, I've got this. I was indeed my. Uh, first answer was almost correct. We just we were missing this one. Mm -hmm. That's all. Oh, thank you, dearly. That was not so difficult after all. Now I'll grant you your archaeology credit. Thank you. So yeah, after I wrote this down, it was clear for me which one we need to start with. Greetings, young man. A researcher attached to the militia at your service. Speaking of service, how about you do me one? Okay. Perfect. The Council of Traders has tasked me with implementing a new patrol system for the militia. I've made sure to follow all their instructions, but I'm convinced there's a flaw somewhere. Wait, let me show you. Number five, the patrol. Okay. I believe I'll have to write down each one of those. After leaving guard room X. Each patrol must reach one of the seven watchtower towers. A patrol may go down any path, but must stop at the sixth tower it encounters. What? Also, it can never use the same path twice. If this is always the procedure, one of the towers will never have a garrison. Which one? Wait, so let's say the first one will go to A. The second one will... wait, sixth. So it's always left. So A, B, second, C, third, D, fourth, E, fifth, F, sixth. Okay. It cannot go the same path, so right now it goes A, one, G, two, D, three, C, five, B, six. So let's say F, B, R, okay. Again, A, G, second, F, third, E, fourth, D, fifth. It could go to G or C with sixth. G or C with sixth move. And how many of them should be? Six, okay. And now what's left is going right. So it's F, one. G2, A3, B4, C5, D6. Uh, again, F, E, D is 3, G4, A5, D6. We have this double. Or F1, E2, D3, C4. 
B5, A6. E. Ah, yes, of course. I'm in your deck now, so if you ever have a problem, come by and see me. Well, I'm off to start drafting my report to the council. You fully deserve this credit for military operations. <laughs> I believe that me doing your job is not just for credit. Like, I did your job, you are. Uh, you're not a student, if I'm not correct. If I'm correct. Sorry, no time to chat, too much to do. <laughs> Unless you're prepared to lend me a hand. Sure. So here's the thing, every 500 years, two comets meet in the heavens. Book on the subject indicate that the next occurrence is this very night. I wouldn't miss this for the world, but unfortunately I'm ca I cannot I cannot figure out what part of the sky they will be visible in. Here, look on this map. Number 4. Okay. Just let me write down the answer for the fifth one. Stellar encounter. When the two comets arrive, they will cross the map only diagonally. They will not intersect any star present, either before or after they meet. In which square will they meet? Not this one, because I can see that diagonally we have a star in the way. Here, this could be for the one star, but the other one would have to go... Two, six, okay. It would have to arrive at this one. Which is not possible as it will intersect with another star. So the, those two are not possible. This one is possible. And from the other side it will be this one. Of course, how could I miss that? Thank you for your help. Now to award you with credits in astronomy. I wish you could see, like, I'm doing it with my fingers, all those countings. Oh, hey man, are you by any chance the standing engineer they sent to help me out? Yes. Sure took your time, didn't you? Here's what's up, we gotta replace the town's old piping network. I'm trying like crazy to come up with the best outline for connecting all the junctions, but it's a real brain teaser. Go on, take this map and get working. Number six piping. Number six. You must connect points A and B with a network of pipes. The junctions in green cannot be moved, uh, but must be all be connected to the final network. Move the pipes to create a single network that goes through every area of the map. Okay. We are swapping them. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Oh, this is horrible for controller. Um, that would be perfect, which means it will not work like this. I cannot move those. Okay, that makes it. That makes it actually easier. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Although that's problematic. The soundtrack here really reminds me of Fable, and I want to play it so much now. <laughs> um. I need this one here. I'm doing a little bit of reverse engineering here. At least I'm trying to. Because I can create enclosed. Oh. This goes here. 
I will have some unused. With output like this, was for every area of the map. Because this one, if they could be. See? This makes no sense to me unless we use this one. Here, then. This one over here. And this one doesn't make sense. Wait, no, it has to go like... Hmm... It has to go through this one first. Go like this. And it has to... Go like this. Start from the bottom. No, because I need this to be reserved for that junction. Hmm. So this has to go like this. I need this here, this over here. Perfectly, it will be here. Then, if I can move this one up and it will this one, uh, yeah, and this one here as well. But I, I need this to be connected, so it has to be like this. It will be this and this. <laughs> no. Like this. Great. Oh, perfect. I was afraid it it would take all day. Thanks, man. Just gotta hand the plans over to my assistant when he gets back. Whatever that is, you definitely earned your civil engineering credits. Thank you. I really feel like doing someone's job. Okay, and that's gonna be it for today. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!